Hey guys, this is Dr. John Giziri coming to you from San Clemente, California. And today's video, we're going to be discussing the topic of full mouth dental implants. Full mouth dental implants is one of two ways to replace all of your missing teeth. The other one is all on four implants where I have other videos that discuss that. But full mouth dental implants is a case like this, upside down, where you have a whole bunch of implants and a whole bunch of crowns and bridges on top of them, replacing all of your teeth, every single one of your teeth in your mouth. That was one example. This is another example. Again, another full mouth implant case, one where there's a whole bunch of, again, implants and crowns, but this was done in sequence, not all at once, over a couple of years, probably decades. And again, you can see they're all implants and crowns. There's just no more, no more teeth left in this patient's mouth. And then last but not least, this would be a final example. This is just the upper, as in you can see, Again, we have implants and crown and bridges. And again, this is a one piece connected to it. So those are all examples of full mouth dental implants. I'm gonna to explain to you what this is all about. What is this secretive, elusive full mouth dental implants that's out there? And if you're planning on getting all of your teeth replaced with a fixed option, you're gonna be given one of two options. One is all on four teeth, which looks like this, right? It's the four implants with a whole set of teeth attached together. But then the other one is full mouth dental implants. So which one do you choose? Do you go for the full mouth dental implants? Do you go for the all on four teeth? Well, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and break down the full mouth dental implants and explain everything you need to do to know about it. So whether or not you've made your decision or you're still thinking about it, uh, I'm gonna give you all the information you need so you can make an informed decision and do what's best for you and your mouth guys. So what are we gonna be discussing in this video? We're gonna go over the procedure of full mouth dental implants, what it takes to get these uh, kind of treatments done. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of full mouth dental implants, particularly in comparison to all on four teeth, which is the only other option to replace all of your teeth with a fixed option. We're gonna go over the cost of full mouth dental implants, and then finally I'll share with you my final thoughts on what I think about full mouth dental implants. Guys, we got a lot of things to talk about, but before I get started, I wanna bring the attention of those of you who are looking for a new dentist to do their full mouth dental implant or any other kind of treatment to go check out the website even28.com. That's E V E N, the number two, uh, the number eight. .com, like the 28 teeth in your mouth or in this patient's mouth. Even 28 is a dentist search engine. You can search for dentists based on zip code, based on city. You can browse through profiles or read the reviews, see what kind of services they offer. And when you find a great dentist, you can schedule your appointment all conveniently online and all for free from the website Even 28, the dentist search engine. So guys, let's go ahead and find out what's going on and if you need to do a full mouth implant or all on 14. Okay guys, a full mouth dental implants is the most difficult dental procedure there is, bar none. I mean, this is the Lamborghini of the treatments and it's just as difficult as making a Lamborghini. Not that I know what it takes to make a Lamborghini, but it's gotta be hard if they charge you so much, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, I'm guessing this is as difficult as a Lamborghini. So why is it? Why is this Lamborghini of dental treatments? Well, because this basically gives all your teeth, it gives you the maximum number of implants, it gives you the most aesthetic option in terms of the restoration, and it's just the absolute best product. You have permanent teeth that are attached to a ton of implants, and you can chew and function fantastically. Now, again, all on four teeth is just about as good as this, but it's just still, I mean, if you want the Lamborghini and the best, this is what you want, it's full mouth dental plan. So let's go and discuss what it takes to do a case like this, right? This patient has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 implants on top, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two more, so nine more implants on the bottom, so about 20 implants or so, right? Uh, and that's about the ideal number of implants for a full mouth case, right? We can do it more or less, and I'll get into that a little bit later. But yeah, what does it take to do a case like this? Or Another case like this, where again, a patient has about, nah, maybe not as many implants, but about maybe 15, 16 implants here, okay? Now, the difference between these two cases, if you notice, this case was done all at once over the course of two, three years. So the doctor did the implants, made the crowns and bridges, and put them in, and again, there's two that need to be finished. Uh, a case like this was done in, you know, over a period of time, usually years, sometimes decades, right? So you replace missing teeth with a bridge, not a one with an implant bridge, and not a one with individual bridges, and implant, implant bridge. And over the course of 10, 15 years, 20 years, uh, the patient ends up with implants in the mouth. So there's two ways you can do it. All at once, over a year or two, 
maybe three, or over the course of decades as you keep losing teeth, right? And you know, uh, those are the two examples which I demonstrate. So yeah, that's how the procedures are. Now, in order to do a case like this, the biggest problem with this is the bone because you can't just go and put 10 implants in somebody's mouth. It takes a lot to put that many implants in the mouth. That's why the treatment all on four is so popular as an alternative. Because when you do all on four teeth, you just need to put four implants anywhere. And again, the bone quality here and here is fantastic. So when we're doing all on four, we cheat. We put the implants here and here. We don't go to the hard areas, which is the back. We well, can't do this with full mouth implants, right? When you do full mouth implants, you gotta go here, you gotta go here. You gotta address the back area, which is why it's difficult. Why is it difficult? Well, let's go ahead and put a little model that I've had here that I've kind of prepared for you guys. So the bone in the upper anterior, right here, and the lower anterior is just fantastic. I mean, you can put implants, no problem, big implants, small implants, wide, thin. That area has a lot of bone and higher quality bone, okay? But when you get to the back, it gets really difficult. In the back, there's a sinus, so this is all the bone you're gonna have. And if you notice, that's maybe three, four millimeters. Not enough to put implants, usually. And then on the bottom, you have this nerve, the inferior alveolar, which gets in the way. So if the bone is low, your implant can hit the nerve. You don't want to do that. So the back has some anatomical restrictions which prevents us from putting implants. And when you do full mount implants, you gotta find a way to address those. Okay, well, what do you do? Okay, well, let's start with the top. You need to do some grafting here. You need to push the bone up. And in order to do that, you need to usually do a lateral sinus graft, especially if you've had teeth missing for a very long time, your sinuses drop. And what you gotta do is you gotta go here. This is a sinus model I have. You gotta cut the jawbone. You gotta push the, oh, there's a sinus. Sinus membrane up as such. And you gotta pack a ton of bone in there. Well, not a ton, but a couple of cc's. And you gotta let it heal for a couple months. So that's called the lateral sinus graft. Let's go ahead and draw that on our model. So again, if we were <laughs> to do implants here, you just can't put implants here, right? Let's go ahead and treatment plan this case. This will be our little guinea pig here today. So the front implants would be easy, right? For the full mouth case. You just put five, six, four implants, depending on the size of the patient and whatnot there. So the front implant is pretty straightforward. You just put the five implants here, but you can't put implants here. They're gonna go into the sinus. So you gotta do lateral wall sinus graft. On both sides. <laughs> so a bilateral sinus graft. Like that, boom, boom. Ton of bone packed into the two sinuses. That needs to heal for about six months and then you can put the, bone, the implants where the bone has regenerated. There you go. Two sinus grafts, and now we can put our, you know, eight, 10 implants in. A lot of work. Takes at least a year to do a case like this. At uh, the bottom, again, the lower anterior is always tons of bone, so let's go ahead and put our implants there. No problems, you can put big implants, small implants. This area has the best bone quality, so it's the easiest to, right? So you can put four implants there. And then depending on the nerve position, you may be able to put implants here. This patient actually has sufficient bone, but what if the bone was lower? Okay, let's assume for the sake of argument that your bone was over here. The nerve is here. So now that's two, three milliliters. Well, what you gotta do is you gotta raise the bone up to here. So what you need to do at that case is you need to do a graft to bring the bone level up. Yeah, you need that three, four millimeters of bone. And this is not an easy procedure to do. You can't just sprinkle powder on it. You have to cut bone from somewhere else. You have to put some screws and meshes. These are very difficult bone grafts to do. Uh, but yeah, you would have to do something. And then when you do that, then okay, fine. Now we can place the implants. But again, you need some kind of a bone grafting. And that's usually not easy, you know, for most cases, depending on where the position of the inferior alveolar nerve is. Okay, so that's what it would take to do a full mount dental implant case on most patients. And if you notice, if I can find the x-ray of the first patient, ah, there we go. Yeah, that's what they did. There's your sinus graft. You know, I put shorter implants to avoid the nerve on the bottom. So kind of short, thick implants, but these are not simple cases. So when you're doing a full mount implant, just the workup alone can take a year or two and be three, four surgeries and cost thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. And that's just the workup. We haven't even talked about the implants, okay? Once the workup's done and you have sufficient bone, then you can start to put implants. You can do it with these many implants, you know, 10 to 12. Usually the max you can put is 12. 
Uh, the least you can put is eight. Have I done cases with less than eight? Yeah, sure. I did this case with six because the patient had a very tiny mouth and not enough jawbone. Okay, but um, most cases need about eight to ten implants. Okay, and then when you're done with that, you still got to make the crowns and bridges. The crowns and bridges are basically a combination of just individual bridges that sit on implants or maybe just individual implants, crowns that sit on individual implants. So it's a combination of all of these, or you can make it as one big piece. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Guys, I told you this isn't easy. <laughs> or you can make something like that. You can connect them all and make it in one, two, or three gigantic pieces. Okay, you guys still following me? I mean, I, I, most dentists wouldn't understand these things. I barely do, so I'm not expecting you guys to understand this, but uh, not in full detail. Just know that to get full mouth implants, you need to do a ton of work in preparation usually, and the implants are very difficult to position. You know, you can't just pop a bunch of implants in. You need a surgical guide. You need to do a workup model to know where each implant goes, and you can place your implants in there, and then you have to make the teeth on top of it, which again is very difficult, because making something like this, this isn't a, a two-week process. This takes two, three months, right? You have to do the metal coping, bake the porcelain, do the measurements, do the bisque track. It's a long drawn out process, you know, measure the bite. Don't forget when you're doing this, you don't have a bite. You don't know if the teeth need to be this long or this long. You don't know if they need to be this far or this, you know, for set back end. So all of those things is things that you and your dentist need to discuss and decide over the course of the treatment. And if you make one little mistake, you're gonna get teeth that you're not gonna like, okay? So full mouth dental implant is a very difficult process. It usually takes two to three years and usually it involves dozens of visits maybe 50 to 100 sometimes. I know it sounds insane, but you'll be seeing your dentist more than you'll be seeing your spouse and kids during the course of the full mouth dental implant treatment, guys. But hey, if that's what you want, guys, and that's what it takes. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the pros and cons of full mouth dental implant treatment. Guys, let's start with the pros of full mouth dental implants. And again, don't forget, we are gonna be strictly comparing full mouth dental implants to all on four teeth. So the first pro of a full mouth dental implant is like I said, this is the Lamborghini of the treatment. If you want the best, this is it. This gives you as many implants and it gives you the best looking teeth, the strongest teeth, the best bite. This is about 95% similar to your natural teeth, full mouth dental implants. Whereas all on four is about maybe 80, 90% similar to natural teeth. You can probably chew everything, but this is just a little bit better. So if you want the absolute best, you gotta go with the full mouth dental implants. Um, the other advantage is there's no gum tissue or less, or less gum tissue. So some people, if their looks is very important to them, they don't want this pink stuff, right? When you make it all on four, there's some pink to fill in the voice. Okay, well, if you don't want that and you want just crowns and bridges, uh, then all on four is not gonna do it. So if looks is very important, then you gotta go with crowns and bridges. Now, having said that, I mean, this looks pretty fine, right? More people, you can't even tell the difference between this and natural teeth, unless you have a really high gum line and you have a gummy smile, at which point the pink will show a little bit, but again, you can, you know, make the pink match your gum colors. But yeah, anyways, if you don't want any pink, if you want to look absolutely gorgeous, your looks is very, very important to you, then yeah, full mount implants is just a little bit better looking than all on four teeth. Um, and then the last advantage is you basically have more implants, so you're gonna preserve more job. Okay, so when you get uh, all on fours, your bone in the back continues to shrink and drop. Whereas when you get full mad dental implants, you have more bone in the back. So if you want to preserve your jawbone, if something that's important to you, the, which should be if you're younger, right? Then yeah, full mad dental implants gives you more implants and you preserve more jawbone. So it's a little better in that aspect as well, especially in the back areas, because we don't put implants over there for all of our treatment. Okay, so those are the pros of uh, full mad dental implants. Let's go over some of the cons. Uh, the first one is the treatment time, guys. You know, what we're doing, all on four teeth, we put the implants here and make a teeth. And if you get somebody who's skilled, you know, something like this, I know you see advertisement teeth in a day. You know, I think there's five clinics that actually do it in a day. But a case like this usually takes three to nine months, I would say, uh, between the implant healing and to make a crown and bridges, maybe year tops if you run into complications. But you're usually done with this within a year, sometimes in a couple of months if you go to a competent dental clinic. Now, forget a couple months. 
couple years, try like half a decade. <laughs> okay, but that might be exaggerated. Have I seen people who take five years? Yeah, if you go to a dental school, this will take you five years too. Uh, but um, a case like this will easily take two years at most dentists. And again, that's if you find a dentist who can do that um, because you have to build up the bone, do the lateral sinus graft, <laughs> lift the jawbone, do autogenous graft. The bone grafting alone usually takes a year or two, okay? And then you have to make the implants, make the prosthesis. It is a long process, two to three years on average, I would say for a case like that. So that's one of the advantage. I mean, how long do we live to put two, three years into making teeth the right guys? The other one is money. Number two is the finances. Um, I mean, all on four isn't cheap. This costs tens of thousands of dollars. Well, guess what? Full mount implants usually cost two to three times as much. So it is a very, very expensive. That's why I use the Lamborghini. Example, it's not expensive as a Lamborghini, but it's probably as expensive as this engine. Um, and it's very difficult. That's another disadvantage. This is a lot harder than this, okay? This one, we're using shortcuts. We're not touching your sinuses. There's no shortcuts for full mouth implants. You gotta do all of it, you know? Over here, I just need to make four implants connect to my device. Over here, I need every single implant to connect to the bridge. So it's a lot more technique sensitive and it's a lot more difficult, like seriously, way more difficult to do full, full mouth dental implants in compared to all of four, which is already difficult to begin with. <laughs> and then the last disadvantage of full mouth dental implants is very few dentists do it. There's a really good chance nobody in your city does it. Maybe two, three dentists in your entire state do it. So if you are hell bent on doing this, you gotta go find a dentist that's very skilled. And you probably wanna find a prostodontist or a dentist who's been doing implants for like at least 15, 20 years. Uh, they're just very difficult cases. I mean, it is what it is, but these are very technique difficult cases. And um, it's very hard to find a dentist that's gonna do it. So that's another disadvantage of full mat dental implants, guys. And I hope you understand what are the pros and cons of full mat dental implants, particularly compared to all of 14. Okay guys, I told you I'm gonna tell you about the costs of all of four implants, but let's do some math. For a case like this, you need to do sinus lifts. You may or may not have to do some kind of a bone graft on the bottom. In this case, they didn't do a lot, but there was some bone graft. I don't think they did a full on autogenous graft with screws and mesh, but anyways, you need a whole bunch of bone graft. Usually the workup alone, the bone grafts alone, <laughs> you're already at 10,000 bucks without even an implant in your mouth, right? Now you gotta start doing all the implants, okay? So a case like this is 20 implants, uh, plus maybe about, I don't know, 24, 28 teeth. Yeah, do the math. I mean, my lab bill alone, doing a case like this, just the cost of equipment alone, it's gonna be 10,000 bucks. To me, your dentist. Not, not to you, the patient, just my cost is 10,000 bucks. And I'm not even counting the 30, 40, 50 times I have to see the patient, gloves, gowns, and stuff. So this is a very expensive treatment. I mean, if your cost to your dentist is over 10,000 bucks, you can imagine what the cost to you is gonna be. It's gonna be closer to 50, 60, 70,000. I've heard of cases going over $100,000. So yeah, very difficult cases. Again, very few dentists do it, so there's really no shopping around. You're lucky to find one dentist within a three hour drive that's willing to do this. But yeah, these are not simple cases. I mean, this is reserved for like Beverly Hills and Miami Beach guys. I'm sorry, being completely honest. Uh, for everybody else who's just practical and lives on planet Earth, and uh, all of four is a lot more like affordable. And again, this isn't expensive. This is still tens of thousands, but in the low 10,000s versus in the high $10,000 range. But yeah, guys, it's just expensive. And it's, it's just because it's a lot of appointments and the materials are very expensive. The implants are expensive. Those crowns and bridges are expensive. Your temper is expensive. Expensive, expensive, expensive. So yeah, unless you were planning on spending a lot of money, full mount dental implants is usually cost prohibitive. And that's usually why most people don't go with this route and choose all on 14, guys. Okay guys, time for my final thoughts. What do I think about full mount dental implants? I mean, listen, full mount dental implants, fantastic. You get all of your teeth, you get a bunch of implants, you preserve your jawbone, you don't have the pink showing. So it's a very good option. It's a fantastic option. Do I look forward to it when a patient comes to do full mount implants? No, I, I do not. I look forward to do it all in four cases, but I don't look forward to full mount dental implants because it is so much work for me and for the patient. And I'll be seeing that patient a lot and putting him through a lot of pain and it's just a very long drawn out process. Do I do a lot of these cases? Again, no, I've probably done a hundred all on fours, 
but I can count how many full mount implants I've done on one or two hands, most likely. So um, these are very difficult cases. And they're a very long drawn out processes. And for most people, this is the better option, all on four teeth. I mean, with all on four teeth, you get basically the same number of teeth, the same amount of chewing. Uh, there's just very minor differences that set this two apart. I mean, with all on four, there could be a little bit of movement in the back. Um, you lose more jawbone. Again, there's the pink. But, you know, you're comparing a procedure that's an 8 out of 10 to something that's a 9 out of 10, but costs uh, two to three times as much in terms of pain, uh, the money, the time, yeah, and the pain. Okay. Um, so, who should consider this? Well, I mean, if you're super rich, yeah, do it. Um, but that's one option, right? But, I mean, if you're super rich, I don't know if you've lost your teeth already, but yeah, if you're super rich and you have a lot of time, this is a good option. Um, also, if you're young, I mean, if you're really young and you can afford both options and you're in your 30s, again, I don't know why you lost your teeth so young, we're not judging here, but if you're super young, it's not a bad idea to preserve your jawbone and go through the longer process for that because, you know, all on four, this can fail after a couple of decades, okay? And if you have the additional implants to secure it, if you're really young, then yeah, it's not a bad option. You know, these rarely fail. Don't get me wrong. I've seen maybe one out of every 50 fail, but sometimes they fail after a couple of decades. And with the full mounted implants, you just have a little bit more security that your teeth are more secure in your mouth, which is a good option for younger folks. Uh, again, if your looks is very important, if you cannot handle the pain. So the couple cases that I mentioned I did for patients was patients who insisted on not having any pain shown and they wanted their teeth to look exactly like their natural teeth. And in that case, yeah, we had to go, I mean, with full mouth implant, especially if you have a high lip line with a gummy smile, then this is a little bit more visible. So if your looks are very important, you're a model or you're, you know, in a profession where your teeth show all the time on TV, then yeah, a full mouth implant is just a little bit better and it might be worth the extra time and money. Um, and then last but not least is for people who've lost all of their teeth in one arch and have no teeth in the upper. So I don't know, a case like this where you have all of your bottom teeth, uh, the full implant is a little bit more secure. Now, of course, you can put in huge all on four screws and angle them to get maximum retention, but there's a little bit of an added security of having natural teeth opposing full mouth implants as opposed to all on four because it can fracture the all on four. Now, what this dentist did is they used ceramic, which is a very smart idea, and put very gigantic implants so that it doesn't break. But if you do it with a bar, uh, an all on four will will break. So there are advantages in some very specific cases where a full mouth implant makes just a little bit more sense than all of four. And it's better to go with that, right? But like I said, for 90, 95% of patients, an all of four is usually a better option. And that's what I usually find myself doing. And my colleagues who do these bigger complex implant cases usually prefer all of four over full mouth implants, unless you are the exception. Okay, guys. A lot of information about something that you're probably not going to get, but Knowledge is good, knowledge is power. So whether you're getting snap on ventures or all on 40, now you know what the other options are, guys, okay? If you wanna learn more about the all on 40, guys, I have a video, go check it out, click on it. I tell you everything you need to know about all on 40. If you have any questions for me, guys, you know what to do, put the questions in the comments. If you want me to assess your x-rays, put them in the comments as well, and I will tell you which route I think you should do it, give you my two cents on it. Uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe, guys, and have a wonderful day.